Hi everyone, it's Brenda. Um, I wanted to share with you today uh, some crochet. And this is actually inspired by Rhonda, who is Heart Music Soul RJ here on YouTube. Hi Rhonda. Um, she had sent me a, a picture on Instagram and said, oh, I saw these and thought of you. And they're the crochet cupcakes. Well, I told her when I got around to it, I'd show her. And I'm going to use this as an example for anybody who's beginning crocheting, um, starting out. You have to be very careful with pa uh, patterns online, free ones and pay ones. Um, I have been crocheting for quite a long time. I can read patterns. I can follow them. Don't have a problem with that. Um, <laughs> and not all patterns are, but a good deal of them I've been finding recently are messed up. Do you see how wonky this is? And my tension is good, so I don't have a problem with that. The first pattern that I found for these, I started making, and now I ripped it out because I was very mad. <laughs> it gave you a top portion and a bottom portion. No base. Okay, and the base was not part of it. This just ended up being a ring. And they told you to stuff it, and it was done. If you wanted to make, um, like, just a little cupcake. Crazy. I found another pattern. Believe it or not, the top and this are exactly the same. The base, look at, see how that is, it's caved in, it's not the right size, completely wrong. I knew it as soon as I seen the pattern, but for some of you who won't, this is what you're going to get. I mean, this is ridiculous, okay, and now, mind you, any pattern with this out here, I have found probably about 10, 15 free ones, they all come out like this. Um, the top is a little different, like the edging and the stitches used, but it looks the same, very close. The base, very close, and this is always wrong. So I figured, why not give it a try? I went to the one that was the main person showing these and bought a pattern. And believe it or not, I got the same thing. It was a waste of money. I will never do it again. Um, and I know a lot of people say that you're going to search for free patterns before you buy them. I agree. Do it. But be wise. Um, and, and it's a lot better if you just get used to your basic stitches, get used to reading your patterns, and do it that way. Um, a lot of people, although it may just be a simple mistake, maybe it's a typing error or whatever, but I have found that it really isn't. Um, they're leaving big gaps in what needs to be done. Um, how to... Uh, finish off your project, like, a cupcake should not be fatter on the bottom than on the top, um, and the attaching is ridiculous how they say to do it, but, um, I, I guess it would work, I was try I just figured I'd make it into a little treat box just so I could demonstrate what it would look like instead of making it a pin cushion, and all I say to do is stuff this, continue stitching this around, and you leave the bottom open. Well, why would you do that? I mean, all your fluff's going to fall out. I mean, that's just ridiculous. I mean, even if you were to curve this under, it wouldn't sit flat due to the ridging. But anyway, that is my project that every once in a while I will make one of these, even though I know it's a piece of crap. <laughs> Excuse my language there. Um, just so I can share with people why, you know, you really need to be careful with free patterns. They aren't always good. Um, you have to find a, a good site, and even then, you still get some that slip in there. And you have to be very careful when you purchase patterns because I've noticed out there that there's a lot of people selling patterns that are free, and they're claiming they're theirs, and it's <clears throat> super crazy. Anyway, if you have any questions about that, leave me a message or private message me, and I'll get back to you. It, well, probably better off privacy private messaging me because I'm really having a hard time keeping up with comments and getting back to people so if I don't you know if you comment and say that's cute or whatever I'm sorry if I don't get back to you or say thank you or anything just know I really appreciate it and thank you for all the comments and whatnot if you have a question I'm gonna I'll get back to you on those um, probably through private messaging um, if not then I will get back to you by replying to the comments if I can but um, I'll definitely answer any questions anyone has or whatnot. Just um, 
please bear with me on that. I've got a lot going on and I may not get around to it. Now, for you, Rhonda, I went ahead and I just wanted to show you that, you know, that's really awful. I can make this so it works, just so you know. That's easy. Um, and I used it like a blue, so here is one with rainbow sprinkles. And I did a different stitch, and mine is cohesive. Looks like a cupcake, smaller on the bottom, larger on the top. Has its icing and the sprinkles, and it stands. Um, and I know you're saying blue or purple, so I figured purple. And this is um, like a light lavender. Kind of the same design, but it's a little bit thinner. You see the size different? Um, this yarn is actually, I um, guess you could say it's an antique. It's all, you cannot get this yarn anymore. Um, I had this from when I was a teenager and I was saving it because I love the color. But um, I don't have much of it left. I have some. But um, if you're going to make one up with this, and it has the rainbow sprinkles as well for you. And they come out, as you see. You can add more and move them around, whichever you like to do. And I just, you know, your sewing pins, because I thought that was the cutest way. Um, I didn't want to stick anything down in there, because then it's kind of non-utilitarian. I like useful items, um, especially if you don't have a lot of space. I'd rather the cutesy things that you get and whatnot be useful, that you can use them for something. Otherwise, I find myself just kind of, like, after a while, packing them away. <laughs> so... I hope you like it, Rhonda. Like I said, there's the purple one. And let's see if I can get down here and show you. you can see? They're really cute. And just, you know, measured to my hand. They're not really all that tall, but they're not super minis either. And they are, you know, squishy and fluff, so you can bend them out of shape, which is super easy. Just to turn them over, and if you push down on there, it'll flatten them out. That's it. But yep. Yeah. I thought they were really cute. Thank you for the inspiration, Rhonda. I hope you like them. You too, Joe, because I know you were interested in seeing them. I hope you all have a great day. If you have any questions, like I said, please feel free to leave them below or private message me and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. I'm just kind of getting overwhelmed with all the messages on all the videos and everything and my older videos as well. And... It's just getting really too much for me to be able to answer everybody, so... It was easier when there was only, like, you know, I only had a couple, you know, maybe a hundred so subscribers. Now I have 400 plus. I'm finding it a little hard to be able to craft and answer. I find myself more so watching YouTube and <laughs> trying to respond to everybody than I do spending time making anything and getting my business off the ground. So... I'm sorry, but I'm going to have to, you know, I'll, I'll answer here and there, and I will definitely answer any questions, so. Thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions or anything, please leave them below. Thank you all to my new subscribers, and definitely to my old subscriber. I appreciate everybody. It um, means a lot to me for watching my video and taking the time to leave me a comment. I hope you all have a wonderful day and a wonderful week, and I'll talk to you all later. Bye.